Hello everyone. Today is a very exciting day. Today we are going to do the drawing on our watercolor paper um, that we've been working on for Aristocats and we're doing the Notre Dame. It is a cathedral found in a church found in France. And um, I know this drawing has a lot of details, but I'm gonna help you get through it step by step. Um, today you're going to need a pencil your watercolor paper. I I have a blank one so that the colors don't interfere with the details. I want you to be able to see what I'm drawing. So I just have a blank watercolor paper to start. Yours will have all the beautiful colors on, on your paper. This is something that it might look like when it's done. Remember, all the artwork is gonna be different and unique like you are. But I'm gonna help you because I have created these templates for you to help you do the size of the building and make sure you have enough room to add your details. So we're gonna start at the bottom and you're gonna use the large rectangle and place it at the edge of your paper. And with a pencil, we're going to trace that rectangle. Then, we're gonna move it down, move the template above the rectangle, and we're gonna draw two of those. And don't worry, I know I made a little mistake there, but we're not gonna worry about that because we don't have to, we can erase it now, we can erase it later, um, we can just ignore it. Uh, but I'm gonna move on so that we have plenty of time to get the drawing part done. So now I'm tracing another rectangle on top. And that's gonna be these two sections of my church, one, two. Now the next step is to use the small template and I'm gonna put it at the top like this and I'm gonna trace that. That's gonna give me the two tall parts of the cathedral or church. Okay, so this is what we should have so far. Feel free to pause the video um, until you get all those details. Now, the next thing I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw this little section right here. In my finished drawing, it is right here, this part. And notice that it has two diagonal lines that go out. So that's what I'm gonna draw first, the two diagonal lines that come out from either side. Oh, funny, I can use that mistake right there. So there you go. Now, once you have those two sides, you can use your template as a straight edge and draw a line and scoot it over. And then we're gonna finish the line here and connect it, okay? That's this part right here. Now I'm going to draw this section right here, this line, separating this one that we just did, this section, and then this part of the building. So I'm gonna use my straight edge again. I'll leave a little space, right? So I'm gonna scoot it down. Okay, like that, and draw a line. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw some columns, because there's some columns on the church. There's one, two, three, four columns. So I'm gonna draw four columns. And I'm gonna use my straight edge. I'm gonna use the small one, so you can see I'm gonna put one column there's a line here already, so I'm just gonna add the other line. There's one. Here's my second column, two. Here's my third column, three. And my last column, four. 
And I know they're not spaced all the way. That's okay. We're not worried about that. All of them are not going to be exactly right. If you want to kind of play around with the positioning, you can. But I'm okay with this. So now we're going to add a couple of the detail lines for the cathedral. And that's why I've included this picture. So if I do something and you want to do something different that you see on the picture, you can do that. There are a lot of details. and You can pick and choose which ones you want to do, okay? Um, so I'm going to add these little rectangles right here at the top of the column. Like this. like that and then I'm gonna draw those lines just kind of indicating the columns okay then we're gonna move up to the next section and do um, this area right here our rectangle yes this area right here so we're gonna draw again some columns and I'll show you what that looks like so I'm gonna use my straight edge to follow the column all the way to the top Two. This is my second column. Three. Four. Oh, and this is my fourth one over here. So I'm just lining up my straight edge with that line and taking it all the way to the top. Now I'm gonna add the large rectangles at the top of that column. There's one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna make them bigger. There we go. Okay, and then you can indicate with some lines the columns right here these lines totally up to you you can add them or leave them off the more details you add and the more you look and observe at what's happening in the picture the more it will look like the Notre Dame so I'm gonna add those now I'm going to add some lines here at the top of this building. You don't have to add all of them, but of course we want to add some so that it starts to resemble the building we're drawing. So I'm gonna use my straight edge and draw some here. I'm gonna use my straight edge to draw some straight lines here. And then if you look at your handout, there's like a little house at the top. You can add that, a little rectangle or square on both sides. Another little piece on top. If you want to add it, that's fine. And then a triangle and a triangle. And then there's even a little line and a dot and a line and a dot. All right, so, so far I've got some details or the basic outline. I can continue with pencil, but I think for the sake of time, I'm gonna add a lot of the windows just with Sharpie. If you feel more comfortable using a pencil first and then outlining, you can do that, but I'm just letting you know that it's gonna take you a little bit longer. So, when you're ready, we're gonna look at our drawing and we're gonna outline the things that we know for sure, like I'm gonna start here with this section of the building and I'm gonna draw it and trace it 
only trace the lines that you want. These other lines are not necessary, so I'm gonna erase them later. Obviously, the side of my building is important, so we're gonna trace that. We're gonna trace this line and the top of the columns. And we're gonna draw the actual columns themselves. And some lines to indicate the columns details. Okay. Moving up, we're gonna draw the edge on both sides. We're gonna draw the top of the columns the sides of the columns the details in the columns and remember if I miss something and you see something in the picture that you want to add to your cathedral by all means there's lots of lines and options just focus on one section at a time and concentrate on those details. If you're gonna do the details in the column, focus on one column at a time. If you're gonna do the doors, focus on the doors one at a time. And then repeat. That's a lot of pattern and symmetry. So we've got the same thing on both sides, the same thing on both sides, the same thing on both sides, okay? All right, so I think I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna start with those doors. There's two sets of doors. If you can fit two sets of doors, that's great. If you can only fit one set of doors, that's okay too. You do what you can depending on the amount of space you have available. So there's my doors. Now there's kind of a outline like this, so I'm gonna draw that part on all of my doors. Okay, that one's a tight squeeze. And then there's another line that arches over. It's a double line, there's two. So I don't know that I'll have room to do the two, so I may just do the one, and that's okay. So here's my first line, and here's my second line. My first line and my second line, my first line, and my second line. So because this section is smaller, everything is gonna look smaller. And you know what, that's okay, because I'm not trying to make it perfect, but it is gonna have a lot of the details and people are gonna be able to tell what it is. All right, so now I'm gonna start here in this section. Oh, actually, we can do this little detail because that's super simple and that will help, so. Just adding little curved lines all the way along, that nice little pattern, and that's done. Moving up to the middle section here, we've got the columns already done. We're gonna do the rose window. So it there's a little arch behind it. It's like a half circle. So I'm gonna do the circle first and then the half circle around it, and then we'll do the details, okay? So between the two columns in the center, draw a circle. Then we're going to do that half circle at the top and it cuts halfway through the rose window. The rose window starts with a circle and then it's up to you how you wanna do your rose window. You can totally make it look like a flower. You can try um, the details like in this one I did it a little differently. I did the circle. I did straight lines coming out, like spokes on a wheel, bicycle. And then I did little Vs in between. So you could try that. You could look at the picture and try to copy what you see here. They're very intricate, so I'm just gonna keep it real simple um, and just do it like a flower, okay? Then we're gonna move on to the curve shapes that are inside each of these sections. So there's two curves, it's a double line. I can't fit my line, so I'm just gonna stop it there because they're really close. 
Got my little circle. And then I've got this arch line right here and it's two lines. So I'm gonna do two lines. And there we go. I'm gonna move over to the other side in this one, I have a little more space, so I'm gonna make my doors a little bit bigger, or windows. I'm gonna draw that circle right there, and I'm gonna draw that arch. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw this line right here, because it's right there. And like I said, I mean, if you wanna get really detailed, for those of you who love all the details, you could do the double line, if you notice that, or you could do the single line, that's okay. Now, in the there's these little designs inside, so I'm gonna draw those designs. They look like little flowers. Uh, pretty simple. Just add them in. They don't have to be exactly the same. Okay, so there's my middle section. I'm happy with that. I, you can add more details if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna move up to these two sections. Totally missed this part of the cathedral. That's okay. We still are gonna get the gist of the building. Um, I do have it in my original one. I actually added that section in there um, and I think we can too we just are gonna maybe draw a line here bringing it down here and you know we'll add the, the columns up here too so you have to improvise sometimes when you make a mistake you got to try something different it's okay. Nobody's gonna be paying attention to those little things. They're just gonna be like, wow, look at this cool drawing that these kiddos did, right? And these are second graders, so that's pretty awesome. Now these are just lines. They kind of, it looks like it arches over like this, right? That's how I would do it. And then I do a little like Y in between I think that's how I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna tackle this challenge. We'll see. And then a Y, a Y, a Y, a Y, and a Y. I'm happy with that. I am okay with that. Oh, I was supposed to put them together, but okay. That's all right. We're just gonna let it be. And I'm gonna do my last section. Okay, so there we go. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna move up to the top. And I'm gonna outline these two. I don't want it all the way to the top. So if you want to do this step, by all means, go for it. If you're okay with leaving it off and just moving to the next step, that's fine too. You have your drawing to help you. Um, we're gonna draw the windows. You can draw these little details on the side. I did that, I did that in this picture. I drew them on the side. Um, if you have space for them, great. If you don't, and you prefer just to draw the windows, just draw the windows. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna draw the windows first. And I'm gonna draw the outline. And I'm gonna trace these lines. And I don't have a lot of room for that. I could maybe squeeze one in here. This one's gonna be a little tight. But, you know, it's okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'll draw the window. Draw the outline. Draw the little rectangle on the side. 
trace these lines at the top. The little tower with the antenna all the way at the top and the other tower right here. Okay, so look at that. Overall, I think we've got a lot of details in here and it doesn't have to be exactly like the picture for people to know what it is. Um, there is one little detail right here that I wanna draw on the sides of the, bu the, the building. So we're gonna use our straight edge to do those diagonal lines. And I also wanna add this section down here that kind of stands out from the building. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm just gonna use my straight edge. Um, it kind of comes out right, right about here on the second set of columns. So that's this section right here. I'm gonna draw two lines that come out kind of around the same place. You wanna make sure they're, you know, like one line's not up here and the other line's down here, but close enough. And then I'm just gonna draw the line using my straight edge. Coming down. And then the other one coming down for the side of the church. And then up here, these are diagonal lines, so I'm gonna draw those. One here, one here, one here, and one here. And then I'm gonna use my straight edge again to bring them all the way down the side and they're gonna stop right here. So from, gotta keep it still, hold it with your hand. From here to here, from here, to here and from here to here and from here to here and there you go that's that's it that's you could take more time add more details if you want to but this is great for me and I think you guys have done a wonderful job so have fun take your time pause the video don't stress do your best and forget the rest okay love you bye forgot one more thing when you're done with everything make sure you go back and erase all your pencil lines all right guys have fun bye